completely f***ing smashed. Hi, I'm Pat, and this is Winter, my furry travel companion. Together we live on my 35-foot sailboat with big dreams of traveling around the world. Compass points to the south, yes I left my past to the north. I trust the wind to send the course, cause I don't care where I'm going. Run away, just you and me. Be aware, the eye can see. Let's run away, just you and me. We'll harness the wind and we'll tame the sea. For the past year, I've been dealing with major engine issues. So it came down to either repower or rebuild this engine, and I decided if I'm going to put another engine in. I don't really want to deal with an older engine and the cost of a brand new diesel engine is pretty high so I decided that if I was going to invest that much money I wanted to go electric. So I got a 12 kilowatt unit that runs on 48 volt which is the equivalent of about 16 horsepower or so. There it is. And those two little boxes, which are not that big, about 110 pounds altogether, is my new propulsion system, and it's all electric. Yay! I ordered it two months ago, so I was really eager to get it. Ooh, big news. Guess what I just got? Some lithium batteries from Linac Lithium, which is a Canadian manufacturer which was uh, something that was important to me, not only for cost and shipping, but I wanted to encourage a somewhat local company rather than importing it from another country. Slicely packaged. That's nice. It's all sealed in. They're actually pretty big, nice post. And uh, I'm gonna have to look into uh, uh, what these connections are. I'm not super knowledgeable about communication devices. That's nice. It feels super solid. And it really feels like uh, no water's gonna get in there. That's always nice. Uh, Cause in the, my particular boat, the batteries and the electric motor will be in the the bilge underneath my main cabin so it's a bit of a gamble with uh, corrosion because it is very humid down there and that's why here's the motor by the way that's why the motor is a liquid cooled unit this is a me 1616 it will have a raw water pump pumping salt water through a heat exchanger and a closed loop with coolant inside which I chose to go liquid cooled because of the environment that I sail in, which uh, I'm in salt water, so obviously there's a lot of salt in the air. And uh, the air cooled motors are really susceptible to corrosion. And the, you can see that like, it has a pulley uh, reduction system. So the, I'm still waiting for the shaft, so the shaft will go through here and there'll be a, a large pulley, which is right here. Uh, which will mount onto there. There you go. 150 amp hour at 48 volt. I plan on doubling and getting two more of these, but for now I can't really afford it. They were fairly affordable for what they are, and they have a warranty, which is why I went with a pre-made battery instead of making my own uh, lithium battery, because I wanted certainty and I, I have to focus on building the actual electric motor assembly rather than building a battery. For the last 10 months, which feels like forever, 
I've been staying in Tofino, working my ass off so I can finance my new electric motor, which I'm doing under $15,000, which uh, means that I'm doing everything myself and trying to be really careful where I put my money, trying to get the best gear available without spending too much at the same time. Because I have better things to do. I've been trying to keep those boats from smashing into each other for like an hour now. But. That's a huge bummer. Completely fucking smashed. This one is in good shape. Thankfully. So here's panel number one. Perfect condition. So that is 425 watts of power at 48 volt but then there's the second one and uh bad news looks like something hit it pretty hard that's such a bummer this is completely destroyed Show 